I said earlier that there is nothing more powerful than a made-up mind. There's nothing more powerful than a what? Made-up made mind. mind. Let's see if we can prove it. How many of you have taken physics before? Who remembers the formula for power? Power equals W slash T, or power equals work divided by time. So in order to find uh, the most powerful thing in the universe, you have to find the fastest moving object in the universe because power equals speed. So when we got, when we came to this hotel, we came to this hotel in a vehicle, a car. And a car can travel up to 250 miles an hour. That's fast. And the, the bigger the engine, we say that that car has more horse um, power. So the size of the engine dictates the speed. But there's something in the universe that's more powerful than a car. And how did we get to the island of Maui? On something called a plane. Planes travel on average up to 500 miles an hour. Well, that's fast. That's more powerful than a car. But there's something that's more powerful than a plane. And that's the planet Earth that we live on. This planet Earth is 24,896 miles in circumference. It has a diameter of 7,926 miles. There are 57,255,000 square miles of land that stick up out of 139,685,000 square miles of water. The Pacific Ocean is 62.46 million square miles. The Atlantic Ocean is 41.14 million square miles. And the Indian Ocean is 21.14 million square miles. There are 1 million square miles of lakes and rivers, 4.8 million square miles of deserts, and 1.89 million square miles of islands. We happen to be on Maui right now. Maui is a little bit over 700 square miles. We service as Wallace Ennis Manhattan. If you guys didn't know, Manhattan is an island. Manhattan is 302 square miles. We also service Staten Island. Staten Island is just a little bit over 50 miles. Tim, Adam, Hank, and myself, we all live on Long Island, and Long Island is about 1,400 square miles. Here's my point. With that much land and that much water, this earth weighs a whopping six sextillion tons. That's a unit or a digit followed by 21 zeros. And it's able to take all of that massive weight and make one complete revolution around its axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 36 <clears throat> seconds. We round that off to 24 hours and call it a day. It's able to do that because it's moving at the tremendous speed of 1,037 and a third miles per hour. So by the law of power equals speed, the earth is more powerful than the plane, and the plane is more powerful than the car. But there's something in the universe that's more powerful than the earth, that's and that's it. light. The sun is 93 million miles away from the earth, and even though the diameter of the sun is 850,000 miles, that's how big the sun is, and it has flames that stretch off of its surface up to 10 to 20 miles long, one ray of light from the sun can reach the earth in 8.32 minutes or 500 seconds flat, and that's because the speed of light travels at 186,282 miles per second. That's fast. But there's something in the universe more powerful than light. I said there's nothing more powerful than a made-up mind. Well, the speed of thought Dr. Joe Dispenza, he's a neuroscientist and a quantum physics expert. Well, they have now calculate, calculated that the speed of thought travels at 24 billion miles per second. And since there's nothing that moved in the universe that moves faster than 24 billion miles per second, there really is nothing more powerful than a made up mind. So you have 14 billion brain cells so if you keep the thoughts of what you want circulating on your mind and spinning at 24 billion miles per second, it's only a matter of time before you get what you want. And as those thoughts are rotating and spinning on your mind, they produce two forces. One of them is known as centrifugal force, which you guys are all familiar, familiar with. That's when things spin out away from you. 
So whatever is not in alignment and not in harmony with the dominant thoughts on your mind, those things are repelled away from you. But the other uh, thing that is produced, the other force, is centripetal force. That's where things are spinning inwards and spinning towards you. So when you keep the things that you want on your mind and circulating on your mind at 24 billion miles per second, it's only a matter of time before those thoughts that you were thinking become words, and those words become actions, and those actions become habits, and those habits create your destiny, and you begin to attract those things that are in alignment with what you want to be, do, and have. So when I say there's nothing more powerful than a made-up mind, there really is nothing more powerful than a made-up mind. Patrick Decker talks about the why. What is your why? Well, my why wakes me up every day. I don't use an alarm clock. My passion for life wakes me up. My why is to make sure that our customer base knows that they can count on Wallace and his associates to service them to provide their domestic hot water and, and cooling needs so that every child in New York and the markets that we serve can go to bed knowing that they can take a nice hot shower and they can live in a comfortable environment. That's my why. What else is my why? My why is to break the cycle. My father grew up without his father in the home. My grandfather grew up without his father in the home. My why was to make sure that I was in the home for my son and my daughter. So they saw me every day come home and work my tail off to improve myself, to get better, and to be there for them, to be a good role model and a good example. So when I came home from work, I came home with my books and we did homework together. And they saw me continuously work hard and treat their mother with respect. So my, my daughter, she followed in that mode and she worked hard and she disciplined herself when her friends were going out to the mall and to the movies and bowling and this and that. She sat on her bed with her Mac and worked her tail off and studied to become one of the best students in her school district. She was class president as a sophomore, class president as a junior, class president as a senior. So it's no surprise to me that when she took the SAT exam, she got a perfect 800 on the math section of the SAT and she's now a freshman at Vanderbilt University. It's no surprise to me that my son continued to work his behind off when he was at the University of Pittsburgh, accepted into their ROTC program, disciplining himself to work and study and hard, uh, work, work and study hard, and he's now a second lieutenant in the United States Army as a cybersecurity officer protecting our nation against cyber threats. I'm not telling you this to impress you. I'm explaining to this to you and sharing it with you to impress upon you what is possible for your life when you have a made up mind, when you're goal oriented and you're focused because there really is nothing more powerful than a made up mind and we can win with FHRA, but it's up to you. You have to become a better you. FHRA, thank you for listening. I'm your guy, Dean Clark, motivated and blessed. Soak it up.